Can you believe that these visuals are generated using AI? The level of details, the interplay of lights and shadow is unbelievable. And the best part, you don't even have to spend endless hours manually modeling every detail in SketchUp. And this has been accomplished with the assistance of various AI, which was previously only capable of working with Revit, but now it's officially working with SketchUp as well. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. So you can download the various AI extension using the website. The link is given in the description below. Whether you are a Mac user or a Windows user, you will get the download link from this. So today we have this model and we haven't given any openings in this model and, and we haven't applied any material to the model. So let's just go to our scene one. We have our model here and now we just have to click over the icon which says Evolve Lab Various. Once you click on this, it will open a dialog box and let me just adjust it according to the screen yeah worked fine now the very first thing you will see your preview for your sketchup model and again it's a trial version and at the very top right side it will tell you the remaining renders you you are left with and now let's just, just decrease a uh, creativity screen and use the prompt menu and use the prompt once you're done with the written prompt click on render button and it will generate the render according to the lines and there we have our first render and if we talk about the render yes it's according to the prompt we have written and it has that golden hour the lake as you can see in the prompt line the ultra realistic thing but as you, as you can see it has automatically created a window at the bottom of this and this within this particular thing and yes it has already given materials it has tried to apply this timber sort of things on the bottom side the flooring part and uh, i don't know why it has raised too much of the platform from the ground but yeah the this looks pretty nice and this can be usable let's just try something changing it during night time and let me just open up it again and click on render and here we have okay now again as you can see it has lights and if it if i switch to the earlier render the windows earlier and the windows now are also changed it has changed the model style and the creativity level as you can see at the very right side it, it has added some light directionally upward to the wall and then some lights on the back side and it has also added some you know textured grass for the flooring part where we were earlier having this wooden flooring the shape of the pillar is i think now shifted to a bit of the circular part and where we were not having it the day render it was not that much circular it was square so yeah that's pretty much good uh, if we talk about this also we are going to make some changes in the model where we are going to apply windows somewhere we need and let's just apply some material make so uh, right now we are just not going to talk about the modeling part as this video is dedicatedly talking about the rendering ai engine So guys, again, uh, the user, user prompt it should be very advanced. It should be something according to what you want to show in the render. Now this time we are going to switch on the turbo nature and then click on the render. And this time, yes, it added something according to the render. As you can see, it has entirely changed the look entirely changed the model and i don't know why it has changed this pillar to a tree sort of thing and as you can see it has added some windows over here and a small window over here where we added a larger window and again added some greenery and the back side on the front side and and again the realistic grass with a raised platform this time let's just decrease the creativity strength to let's just say 77 and tweet something in the in the user prompt menu 
looks fine just click on render i don't know why it has created this thing but yeah it still looks good it has added some entry the windows small window small texture on the wall on the left side and i think it has tried to put curtains or something but it's not that much clear but yeah and this time increasing the creativity strength to 89 changing our prompt okay now this looks pretty attractive it's according to the prompt it has added a lot of the mist in the front side that's not a big deal but as you can see the grass in this looks more realistic it has added more shadows the background trees looks more realistic it tries to add a bit of reflection on the glass too as you can see in this part just try one more time the last thing we just need to clear the mist and click on render this time also the mist is the mist is on the major side but on the top block the windows are not there but it has a lot of warm light in the bottom of the block again the realistic part of the grass and the greenery is still amazing like if you if you're going to achieve this thing in vray it it will take a lot of time in adjusting things and adjusting texture and adjusting you know atmosphere is it is going to create so again these renders can only be used for the conceptualizing part not for something you can uh, give it to your client that these are the renders now this time we are going to model something for the interior part and let's just move setting up the camera as per you need and then unhide the things okay we have at this at the bottom part okay now refresh the thing refresh sketchup preview it's not giving us the preview we need so let's just change the view and the sketchup all on itself as you can see in the bottom side we have changed the field of view to 55 and then refresh the field view again okay now as it's there so let's just use the prom menu So after using this the sketchup software got crashed but we have the renders like we were not able to record that thing and but we have the two renders we type some ceiling and th those things but as you can see it has entirely changed the look of the interiors as we are not able to see any windows in the interiors interior part and again the the corner edge it has converted that edge into a circular pillar and it tried to add something on the ceiling so that it looked more interesting if you can see and compare both the renders it has added something in the ceiling part just to make it look more interesting and a bit realistic now this time we are going to add one furniture in this model and then go back to a particular scene unhide everything and go to the valve lab where is refreshing the frame again and also again uh, the field of view is not that much good so let's just move it a bit okay looks fine so let's just increase the window and change the user prompt and just click on render and if you talk about the furniture yes the furniture looks more good more realistic and it has also added a carpet i think a texture carpet to enhance the render so let's just tweak something with this furniture in the prompt menu again and this time as this time we have decreased some creativity strength and now just just change some prompt menus and click on render again again and this time still we are not able to see the windows the clear openings again but this time it has played something with the carpet and because of creativity strength i think the quality and adding that greens is there in the render again as you can see it has added something on the ceiling and looks pretty good but i think the exterior ones were much better in compared to interiors as i think the interior ones are not that much interesting for me so let's just go to exterior part and model something 
and this time we are going to model we have added a base and we are going to add blocks refresh the frame where we can get the better view of the building so that we can type the prompt accordingly yeah this looks good uh, yeah this lo still looks good as i told the exterior it's just going crazy with the exterior part the ai thing the building is looking as per the prompt but the surrounding is not looking that much because i think we have added a grass texture so it was able to read that green thing as a grass element and it has added you know a landscape map to that so still looks good as compared to interiors let's just do something with this building again and you know we can move the blocks so let's just do it again Re refreshing thing and using the prompt menu click on render button again this time the results are pretty realistic pretty up to the mark as i, I can say and this looks really good it has added the windows the large windows accordingly and added some amount of mountains at the backward still it looks comparatively good as if we compare to the interiors so let's just tweak it a little bit more so that if we can get snow instead of grass what we can have now again it has changed the material it has also changed the window openings the it has some snowflakes i can say in the ground but not that up to the mark that i need the full snow thing but still looks good it's just a starting phase uh, people can use it for the conceptual part student can use it for the thesis conceptual thing and something like this that's all for today let us know if you like the video comment down if you learn something new subscribe if you are new to the channel